Yeah, uh, what I'm doing today is uh, cutting um, the smoky single malt uh, distillation I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've been sitting here waiting for me to find some time to, do, to, to get around to doing that. I usually take the uh, distillate off in jars so I can separate it later, and here we are. Uh, when I get the stuff off the uh, still, I bring it in here, and for the first couple of days, I just have a uh, coffee filter over the top of the jar, because you'll get some volatile crap that will um, you'll lose, which you don't want. Uh, in that time, it can breathe, uh, and after after a couple of days with that, I just pop the, the lid back on it, and uh, put it back. I label my lids, uh, I think I've shown you did that in one of my distillation videos, as they come off the, um, as they come off the uh, still. So that's jar 7, and it came off at 78%. Whereas you've got jar 1, and the, the first two or three jars I take off, I know I'm going to discard it somewhere in that, something in that first two or three jars. So I take them off in smaller jars, uh, you can see that one there was the first one off, it was the, the, the first heads jar, that was jar 1, that's at 81%. Um, so this is how also how I do my cuts, um, other people may, may do different things, I'm not saying what I do is right, uh, it's just what I happen to do. What you'll need is a, a glass of um, filtered water or distilled water, just for, for, for drinking, clearing your palate. Uh, a nice sort of balloon type glass, you get a bit of heat in uh, for putting your, your um, test spirits into. I use a measuring cylinder full of um, filtered distilled water and a uh, trusty old pipette which has just, just been rinsed and washed out. Um, if you're not familiar with these, basically it's a bit like a whiskey thief they use for taking whiskey out of barrels. You just basically put your thumb over the end to create an airlock. You can dip it in into a, into a um, vessel, take a small amount of either whiskey or water in a measure that's got quite small increments measured on there. Uh, makes it really easy for, for just pulling out small amounts into a into a vessel, which, I, which is what I'll show you in a second. So you pipette, uh, and away we go. Um, when I make my cuts, I'm not going through and sampling every jar at this stage. Um, what I do is I, I know I'm going to make a cut off the front end, and I'm going to make a cut off the back end here somewhere. So I'm just trying to find my points at that. Uh, if I was getting really fanatical about it, I would go through and try every jar, um, maybe discard one out of the middle there somewhere, but this particular run was very smooth, very constant, the temperature held nicely, it was a good day so I didn't get wind coming through and, and cooling, varying the temperature out of the, the column or um, the linder still. So I know this was a very, very smooth, um, consistent, orderly run, so I, I won't be taking anything out of the centre there. Uh, so we'll start off with our first jar. Um, we'll just it's made easy because I, I knock these things back to 40% to taste. Uh, tasting 80% uh, alcohol off the still is not going to tell you a hell of a lot. When I'm doing it real time off the still, it's a kind of an indication where I to, to to cut four shots. Aside from the amount of I might actually technically take off, which is my amount for four shots, I'll keep running it until I can't taste any just off the end of the still. Um, it's not not very accurate. You wouldn't just open this up, take a sweep, and go, "Oh yeah, sweet, that's good." Well, no, that's bad. You're not going to be able to taste everything. There's lots of flavours and stuff that come out when it's down at a drinkable concentration. So, what I do is I wait for the uh, liquid to come up to a little. I'll take it off at about about there. Pop that into my glass. As it's 81%, um, close enough to 80% for me, uh, just taking an equal measure of an equal measure of um, filtered water there, popping that into the glass, 
that will take it back to 40% by volume. Slid back on there so I'm not getting any, any contaminants or anything. Give that a bit of a swirl. As I say, that's just how I do it. If, if you've got comments or you, 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 you think you know, there's, there's something I'm missing, please tell me. Uh, or if you've got something you do differently, let me know. Um, so that's that's about 40% by volume, that's a drinkable level, uh, about, about what you'd get for a commercial product in a shop. Um, I've heated it a bit with my hands and giving it a sniff, that, that already, <laughs> that already um, I wouldn't want to drink that. And taking it back to 40% by volume, you, you can smell that even more. I'm not even... Uh, yuck. Yeah, well, I did taste it. Yeah. Jar too. Same deal. And that's all I'm that's all I'm taking out. I'm not taking much. Probably five mils in there. Hmm, slightly, slightly reminiscent of airplane glue. That's not a good endorsement. Okay, I'll try the taste of this one now. That's that's kind of palatable, palatable but it's still not not good enough. Um, that that the stuff I don't want in there is just starting to taper off there. So we'll ditch that. And what I can do with these guys now is um, keep them. I keep them over here, and uh, they'll go into my next run, or I'll just keep them off in uh, um, a Fane's collection. Um, and when I've got enough, say 20, 20 liters or so, I'll uh, dilute that back to to um, forty percent and throw it all into the still and do a Fane's run. So third jar. So hopefully this one we've um, lost that start of run kind of flavour. Oh, that's a lot better. That um, doesn't have any of that any of that uh, start up start up beginning of the uh, run flavour. Mm. So, a bit of a Goldilocks, third time right. <coughs> That's the beginning of my cut. Uh, so now I'll go to the tail end down here, jar 12. This was actually um, what I was just going to throw away as fangs, well not throw away, but instantly discard as fangs, but uh, that was taken off jar 12, 58% uh, ABV. We'll give it, give it a crack now anyway, let's see. So take a uh, amount out of this, and this one here is, what was that, 58? So I'm going to approximate adding a little, a little bit of a uh, lot less distilled water than we did for the first couple. Um, usually, in the end of my runs, uh, the tails 
getting quite a, a, a really nasty dishy smell to it. Um, but this one hasn't got any at all. I could have possibly run run that to, up to another jar or two, maybe. That's got lots of smoke flavour on it. Mmm. And um, it's quite sweet. It's well, not not sweet as in it's had sugar uh, you know, in it, or you can't taste sugar in it. But um, yeah, it's 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 not not very tart like these guys were. The heads the heads jars. Um, that's nice. Hell. Okay, we'll ditch that. Ditch the, the remains of the glass there. I won't be ditching that jar. That's staying there. Um, what I'll do out of interest is I'll just check its next its buddy next door to it. That was jar 11. And that was taken off at 66% by volume. So I'll physiometrically calculate a dilution there. I used a smoky uh, single malt um, barley for this. Um, it comes from a uh, malting house a granary down in the South Island of New Zealand called Gladfields. They make some amazing product. A lot of different variations of uh, malted grains. Um, fantastic stuff. Love their products. Uh, and I'm not pushing them, by the way. <laughs> I don't know the guys. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm not I'm not getting any kickbacks. I'm, I'm just saying they do make a very very nice product. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good too. So those, I'll, I'll make that my cut. I can't go any lower because I didn't take another jar after that one. I'm kind of regretting that now. Um, and that's where I start my my cup there. And that's basically all there is on, on to it, as far as I go anyway. Um, other people's mileage may vary and you may have a, have a slight difference in how you do things or a major difference, let me know. Put it in the comment section there. Um, what I'll do now is I'll clear some of this stuff away and uh, we'll, we'll um, wood this and uh, set it down to oak.